Alrighty, so we're back at it again. Uh, I, I feel like I don't normally do this many Nidhogg videos so close back to back. I mean, I don't, it, it was a little while before the previous one, but uh, either way, we're back. We're doing Nidhogg again. Uh, I just wanted to use maybe LR Margaret in this scenario, because I think that, uh, I don't necessarily think that she's going to be better than Red Margaret, because Red Margaret is tailored for this specific boss, but uh, she is kind of nice, and I assume with the way that things are kind of progressing and everything, uh, you might end up wanting to make LR Margaret sometime in the future, so if you don't have, uh, you know, Summer Margaret already, or whatever the case may be, um, I just kind of want to see, would it be worth it to just use her instead? Because, I mean, I don't typically use... Uh, I mean, I guess I typically just use the red Margaret. Uh, if you want to see the gear and everything, I've got it like this. Uh, I always use a recovery rate uh, rune on Freya to make sure that she has lowest HP so that she can tank. We are using the dog's card set. Everything is pretty usual, I think. Um, I typically do use red Margaret whenever I do my actual Nidhogg runs. Um, I did do a run shortly after she came out, if I'm not mistaken, where I used the, the blue uh, Margaret instead. Um, now that she's LR'd, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Like, I don't I don't think that we're even going to be able to really get much use out of the fact that she has a debuff card, because most of the phases are going to be immune to debuffs anyway. Um, so yeah, there's probably going to be a, a couple of scenarios like that where it's not really going to matter. I think typically I try to... I, I like to use a Liz card to try to push you know, kind of towards her ultimate or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't think the debuff card is going to matter too much. Like I said, most of the phases, I think all of the phase ones actually don't have debuff immunity, if not, if I'm not mistaken. So, okay, I was going to say, I might not even kill here. Um, I'm also kind of used to having, I guess Elat was giving me some basic stats, whereas I don't think this Margaret is giving me any basic stats or anything. So, I'm actually very interested to see about Floor 3, Phase 1, if I can one-shot the phase or not. I'm actually not super convinced I'm going to be able to do that. So, uh, either way, let's go ahead and take some of these stances off. Uh, that way we can do some more damage. Um, not 100% sure how much damage her card is going to do here, but I guess we'll see. I mean, it's still technically just a charge card, I guess, in this game mode, since we're not actually going to be able to use the, the debuff part of it in most of the phases. So, I mean, it did all right, I guess. Um, you typically want to try to use more Freya cards and stuff if possible, just so that way you're maxing out her passive and everything. That's a lot. Am I dead here? Ooh, level two. I might be dead here. That do be happening sometimes. Oof. Okay, well, we're uh, resetting, I guess. Okay, so he actually doesn't have a buff removal card, so I think what we're going to do is try to maybe just go for something like this. We'll just throw some of these cards out. We're just going to put some buffs on and everything, so hopefully I can uh, tank that a little bit better. Um, after the reset, I did not kill in one turn on Phase 1, um, so I do think that maybe even Elat would be, I don't want to say better, but could be potentially faster um, just off of the fact that you're giving so many extra stats and stuff like that to the team, which is really, really helpful. So that is kind of nice. Ooh, we're taking so much less damage because of this. This is great, actually. Uh, <laughs> I, I say as I take the biggest hit you've ever seen in your life. Uh, let's use this into... I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw these, and then we can actually just get rid of... Uh, that's actually going to give me ultimate. Let's just get rid of this Margaret card. I'm, I don't think that the Margaret card is really going to help me too much. I do think that sometimes Summer Margaret can be kind of annoying in Phase 3, uh, or Floor 3 Phase 2, because you'll have a, a couple of extra... Okay, decent damage here, though. Uh, you'll have a couple of extra stance, you know... Uh, removal cards that can kind of hinder you in some ways just because you don't want to take off too many stances in that phase so the summer margaret sometimes can kind of clog your hand up but uh, it's not always like too bad most of the time so um either way let's do uh do i keep the ultimate i don't guess i do because i can rush for ultimates pretty fast so let's go for i'm not i'm not even worried about getting margaret's ultimate back to be honest let's use this for the attack related first and then we can just go for something like this to make sure we take a decent amount of hp off oh i forgot this is uh not the phase that i thought it was we might actually end up doing 
a bad thing here. Um, mm, okay, well, we gave him the attack related. I am all over the place today, I guess. Okay, not that bad. Mm, this is going to hurt, I feel like. Yeah, that hurts quite a bit. Should have kept the ultimate, maybe. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's go for... I don't even necessarily need to cleanse. I just need to get HP back. So let's just do something like this into these. Because that should bring his ultimate move gauge all the way... Or his immortality gauge all the way down. Hopefully this will heal me back up a decent bit. Uh, that's all right. My L's full. He's going to kill, which means that his lifesteal is kind of null and void. Uh, I'm assuming Margaret's probably missing a little bit of HP here. Yeah, not too bad, actually. So could be worse. Let's move into floor two. All righty. So I guess one thing that I need to be kind of aware of is that I, I do technically need to take some debuffs and then cleanse them with Margaret, so that way I can get the extra crit damage and stuff like that. Crit chance and crit damage from um, her passive. So let's maybe throw these out at the moment. We'll try to remove the buff next turn and kill for the phase transition. Um, I think he actually puts some debuffs on me right here during his turn, so we should hopefully be able to cleanse those off, get a little bit of use out of the Margaret passive, and then push phase. Um... Okay, that's actually kind of nice. I was kind of hoping we would get another one of these, because I can use that to kind of push more towards guaranteeing a kill with the uh, the Flood card. Okay, he actually puts three of the Corrosions on, which is good. I think having two on everybody still would have been enough, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but we're just going to do something like this, I think. That will... Go ahead and kill and push phase. I kind of want to throw this away because I think the ultimate is going to be better to have um, for this next phase. Not that it's like a, a really big issue or anything, but uh, could be could be nice nonetheless. It, it'll, it'll be better. It'll be more damage than the charge card is what I'm, I'm, I'm assuming here. So pushing in. We now need to make sure we don't take all of the uh, the stance cancel stacks off at one turn. Doesn't matter. We don't have uh, enough stance cancels to even worry about it. So let's go for these maybe, and then I think I'm gonna throw one of these on as well, and then throw that away. Let's kind of start setting up for the next turn maybe. So we do have infect on. Maybe would have been better to use that ult for life steal first but it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, he doesn't typically do too much damage in this phase. Um, in the first phase, he has that extort. In the third phase, he has um, some pretty heavy hitting moves as well, like once he ultimates. But um, for the most part, I would say this one is like the most tame out of all of the phase twos. So you just have to make sure that you're not taking off all three stacks at one time, because then he gains a damage deal increase. So let's go for this to grab a little bit of uh, her passive we can even use one of these and then hopefully that will kill so proc a little bit of the passive here by using a freya card use this for maybe a little bit of life steal a little bit of damage i actually don't think my l is going to kill at this point hopefully that is a little bit of a heal for everybody yeah because i haven't gotten another stance cancel he still has a decent amount of damage reduction on uh, I have to say, so far, it definitely seems like the Elat is uh, surprisingly a bit smoother than this. But I think it's just because of all of the stat increase and everything. So let's cleanse off. Um, and then we can actually remove that ultimate. That should push phase. I'm not 100% sure on that. I kind of want to... I guess I, mm, I guess I technically need to use the ultimate first. So... Well, actually, I can do this, cleanse off the Infect, and then ult, and then use this card. It will it should waste it, because I think my L's going to kill here. And then that should get me her ultimate next turn, because we should gain two orbs from the um, Liz ultimate as well. So, boom, that is, uh, we're going to waste like one turn of the attack related stats. Not really that worried about it. We uh, we do typically a pretty decent amount of damage. Plus, I have some good Myel cards in hand, so I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of just chilling at the moment. 
Okay, do have to worry about these corrosion stacks a little bit. I think we push for our ultimate and go ahead and cleanse them off this turn. Let's just go ahead and throw these away since we're going to get her ultimate next turn anyway. And then those are going to do some pretty good damage. I think I'm going to throw out the Mael AoE just to try and get him as low as possible. But uh, I can't remember if, if there is a damage cap on this turn. I think there is it looks like it's 472 okay. so this hopefully will bring him down to yeah zero okay so it doesn't matter you can't obviously kill this turn if you don't know the mechanic for it you have to make sure that he's below 50 percent hp and then each turn that he is below 50 he loses 33 percent of the gauge um and then if you wait for three turns or like if you're able to keep him below for three turns you should be able to uh, lower the immortality gauge all the way, and then you can kill. So, um, another thing to kind of worry about here is the fact that um, you kind of want to be able to cleanse off these uh, these blue buffs that he has on. Unfortunately, I think I'm just going to throw all of these out for hopefully another cleanse card in hand. But, um, yeah, maybe we can even push for ultimate or something. Uh, I'm not too sure. If we can... We can either get her ultimate back before we kill, so that way we can get all of our characters back up to full health before we push through, uh, or if we can get like a cleanse or something like that, that would be pretty helpful. The corrosion is a, is kind of annoying. Um, this actually should be able to cleanse, and then we can ult before we kill anyway, so that way we should be full health. So that's actually looking pretty good. Um, still no Liz attack card, so I do kind of want to try to do a decent amount of damage here, so that way I don't have to do as much in the following turn. So that's going to give us our ultimate. Uh, I think that we don't need to necessarily waste both of these ults. I'm going to use this one because the Abyss should help a little bit, and then I'm going to throw these cards out. I think that that should still be a decent amount. So now we don't have to worry about the Corrosion for the turn. We get her ultimate for the heal next turn. That does a good amount. This should actually get him down to zero, hopefully. It does. The, he's going to heal it back a little bit at the beginning of the turn, but we should hopefully be able to get some of it off with the Abyss. So now he's right here. I can't remember. I don't think he has a whole lot of lifesteal, actually, so it shouldn't matter too much. Ooh, is this going to... This might hurt, actually. Okay, actually not too bad definitely could have been worse he did get a pretty decent amount of hp back from that though so i'm a little concerned okay that uh that ult removal is a bit unfortunate i have to say but luckily we have uh finally a liz card in hand so we can take that ultimate off i'm just going to use the myel cards to finish here because he does a really nice amount of damage so heals back up the full gives us attack related stats we lower his damage reduction stacks and then myel is yeah going to kill Great. Actually, we didn't even have to use the second card. So, floor two, looking pretty good. Let's move into the final floor. I'm very interested to see if I can one turn phase one. I kind of doubt it. All right, so we're going to see how this goes. Um, typically, I just use both of these and then both of these. I do not have an extra stance cancel card, so I'm really going to hope that if I do kill, that I can actually draw another one of those. Uh, I think normally I'm around 50% HP. I don't think we're going to kill this turn. Yeah, it's pretty close, but not quite it. Um, okay, so at this point, I think I'm just going to have to... We did actually pull another one. But I'm basically just going to have to try and push for some ultimates here. Because I think ultimates are what takes down this gauge the most. So... <laughs> I have to say, Elat definitely is a is a is a bit smoother so far. So let's go ahead and throw um, all of these out. That'll get me her ultimate, and then we'll merge this for now. That should get me very close to everybody's ultimates. Once I use this, I can use a card with each character. I do need to pull my L card here, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, we did not pull a my L card actually, so that is not great. Hmm. I can't remember exactly what all you need to do here. Like I, like I said, I typically one one turn this phase if I can, so that way I don't have to worry about the mechanics for it. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit annoying maybe. Um, let's just go ahead and throw this out, throw this out, and then I think I'm gonna throw this out as well. Definitely would have preferred to get the my L card there. Because that one doesn't do damage, it doesn't lower the gauge at all, I don't think. So, uh, that actually lowered it by 70. 
I can't remember how much the ults remove from the gauge. Okay, it literally just shot all the way back up to 100. Hmm, okay. Can't use debuff cards here. I need to... I, because I swap back and forth between my free-to-play account and stuff, I typically uh, forget to <laughs> toggle the ultimate moves thing. Okay, so we have two ults in hand. I could use this, maybe. Uh, we need to take that off, though. So let's maybe go for this into this into this into this i i might be jumping the gun here i might have should have saved these ultimates not 100 percent sure so 79 percent into 45 percent i think the abyss kills here oh four percent that's so unfortunate Okay, uh, it's fine. We should hopefully be able to push for ults again. Increases its attack, which is a bit concerning. We do have ultimate. I don't think he's going to infect us here, so we should be okay. Okay, so we heal up all the way. Um, let's go ahead and use these, maybe? Uh, now I don't have... I mean, I have this Margaret card in hand. Guess I'm gonna throw that away. We'll see how low he gets here and then how much he has during the next phase. So 41, I don't think that's gonna bring it down at all. Yeah, it doesn't. I think only attack cards deal or give any sort of uh, reduction there. Okay, and then the Abyss hit brought him back up to 100, so that's not good. Um, okay, we're attack sealed. I think I'm still... I think I'm still doing okay for the most part though i don't i need a i need a uh a freya card though okay so let's throw this out i'm gonna go ahead and throw these both out and then i'm i'm actually gonna go ahead and throw that as well because i think i need the liz cards more than i do the myel cards at the moment so we're just gonna try to get all three ultimates in hand i guess this is taking way longer not a big fan of this if, if i have red margaret on if i have elad on both of those i was able to one turn this phase with um i think you can probably one shot the phase if you have like really high stats on your characters and stuff like really high box cc's and stuff but um unfortunately i don't and i assume uh, many of you don't as well so not gonna worry about it that much um okay we do have all three damage dealing ultimates in hand so i think think we're just gonna go for it i don't think it's gonna get much better than this i'm gonna save that liz card since we're infected but boom 66 i assume into 33 this brings it all the way down yeah to zero and then this is gonna kill okay finally now my biggest issue is are we going to get destroyed RNG wise on this next phase because normally the first phase isn't a problem for me but I can sometimes get absolutely just murdered in this phase right here so uh oh we don't have we don't have a an a stance removal card so he's got the damage reduction going for him he has 50% extra damage reduction or damage dealt sorry not damage reduction um Mm, this is going to be very bad, I assume. He's got a lot of damage reduction stacks on, too, so these attacks are probably not going to do very much. Uh, oof. I guess we'll see how the luck lands for us. I don't, I don't typically have to worry about this damage dealt increase, so I'm not 100% sure how we're going to tank. But we're all pretty high HP. I've got, a, I've got the ultimate heal for next turn. Uh, I guess it really just depends on who or how, what his cards are going to look like when he gets his ultimate. Because if he does two attacks after the ultimate, it's typically very, very bad for me. So, um, let's go ahead and use this, I think. We're going to use this, this, and then I don't have anything to sort of... I guess I'm just going to push for her ultimate again because I don't have any real reason to use the buff card because there's nothing for us to cleanse off the gain from the passive and one of his attack cards actually removes buffs before you get hit by it so it's not going to matter if i have that sort of like damage reduction on or anything anyway so this is actually the card that does not do that um 
Okay, I think it's the one where he, like, shoots the tendrils at you. So this one is, luckily, not that big of a deal. He now has a stance on that we have to remove. Um, so let's go ahead and remove that. We're going to ultimate. We're going to throw this out, maybe. And then, okay, he's actually doing a pretty good combo right here. He has two bronze cards. And... His ultimate is in the middle, which means I'm hopefully going to survive this. So here's an ult. That actually worked out good because this is the ultimate one. So that actually brought down his gauge a little bit more, which is great. Doing some okay damage even with the, um, the damage reduction stacks on. We have full ults in hand. Here's the ult. That's going to extort. I should lifesteal some back with the Tarmia Link. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. It does not. Okay, we're actually looking kind of good at the moment. So we have to cleanse off the uh, extort there. That's actually going to give Margaret a little bit of passive, which is nice. Into something like this. Try to deal as yeah, much damage as we possibly can. I'm not 100% sure. So we'll see. All right, this is going to give us some stacks of the passive here. Boom. Actually, not too bad damage-wise. This one does... Okay, as well, the Abyss is going to take into effect a little bit also. So he should be pretty low. I actually think that the Mael ultimate may end up killing here, because I'm pretty sure if he's at 0% and, then, and you use the card that is going to stance removal and it kills, I think it still pushes phase. So, I think we're going to use this first to gain attack-related stats. It's not going to be that much, because I'm only 2-6, so it's 10%. Um, then we're going to use this. I'm going to throw that away. I'm going to throw that away. And then hopefully that means we're good. So attack related stat increase. Boom. Oh, it didn't kill. Uh, very close, but not quite enough, unfortunately. Okay, that still kills. This phase really confuses me sometimes. Like we move, we put the ultimate or the immortality gauge up. I guess as soon as it hits zero, he loses it for the turn. Maybe I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I don't know, very odd sometimes how that uh, ends up kind of working out, but let's go for, uh, I could push for some ultimates and stuff. I think I'm going to use this. This is going to do a lot of damage. I think I'm just going to use this to merge some cards here, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw this extra Mael card out anyway, because the idea here is you need to keep him below 70%, so that way you lose 25% of the gauge. Uh, yeah, 1.2 mil on that is insane. So we ended up wasting a Mael card. Not a big deal. 1.6, basically. So that would have even done better. We probably could have just used that one card to keep him below. But uh, as long as you get Freya cards, as long as you get Mael cards, typically you can keep him below the 70% mark. He does full heal every single turn because he has all of these like weird recovery rate increase stacks or whatever these are. I'm not 100% sure. But... Um, not that big of a deal. So he's putting some debuffs on us. We might actually be able to get a little bit of use out of the Margaret here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ultimate here. That's going to basically kill him. Uh, and then I think I can waste this as well. Push for some more ultimates and stuff. So this ultimate does a lot. I have her 4-6, so she's not even like completely maxed out. And it takes the entire bar down. And on top of that, the Abyss is going to bring him down, Like I think, an extra like 20 to 30 percent-ish. Uh, from my 4-6, so if I could pull extra copies of that, it would go even better than that. Actually, I think that's right at 40%, so that's kind of nice. Now I have even less that I have to do, but like I said, obviously, if you have my L cards, Freya cards, <laughs> typically you can do enough damage and it's not going to matter anyway. This team is just so stacked on, like, synergy. Like, they all feed into each other's... Um, you know, stat pools so much that it's uh, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I think I'm going to throw this away. Uh, he does have a D rank card, so I'm going to throw this away, and then we're just going to use the Liz card for uh, whatever reason. His The debuffs that he puts on, the poison and the bleed, aren't really that big of a deal, and this should bring him down to zero. Does. Um, wasting these cards just to basically get him out of hand. If we can uh, get closer to her ultimate again, we can make sure that we don't die, but... Uh, it's not really that big of a deal. If you don't end up doing 70% four turns in a row, he will actually lose um, one of these stacks, and then he'll give himself a... I think it's a 50% all stat increase, which is really, really tough to deal with. You typically want to try to make sure that you can kill him 
uh, or like get him below 70% in enough turns, but if you can't, just know that once he gets that all stat increase, if he ults you, it's going to do a ton of damage, so be very, very careful there. Uh, obviously, you know, sometimes RNG can kind of screw you, and there's nothing you can do about it, but... If you can prevent it, I definitely recommend it. That is one thing that I do like about the ELAT. You can kind of use a little bit of ult control, which is nice. It's one of the things that I like about having Red Magelda on the Ragnarok team for this. But, uh, you know, this team is more stacked, like, synergy-wise and stat-wise than uh, that it does really matter to have ultimate move gauges. Because um, other than the extort in the previous phase and then him attacking you afterwards, most of the ults aren't really going to be that big of a deal. Like, you can most of the time survive them if you have uh, your, you know, your uh, your passives sort of maxed out. So, um, let's go ahead and... I mean, we're full health anyway, basically, so we're just going to go full damage here. It doesn't really matter. We just need to make sure that we kill. He is obviously full HP, but he doesn't have his all stats yet, so boom. 674, not the craziest. Mael should hopefully kill with his two cards here, though. So, we're looking pretty good. This is another another Nidhogg run in the books. Looking pretty good. That was probably, like, one of the worst hands we could have had. If we would have had any sort of ultimates in hand, we would have been better off there. But still able to beat it without them. So, that's great. Um, hopefully, we get some new Nidhogg relics soon. I, this, I'm recording this before the festival reveal. So, I think it'll end up coming out afterwards. Hopefully, they announce that there's going to be some new relics. But uh, I am uh, I am tapped out at the moment. I, I, I have no use for these materials at the moment. So, uh, either way, kind of interesting. I'm, uh, I'm not really going to say that it's worth using her, like using the double LR team. Uh, would not really recommend if you can get Summer Freya or you have her already, definitely use her instead. Or, mm, I don't know, obviously a lot of you guys probably skipped Elat, but if you did end up getting her, uh, she th I think she just helps a lot more like stat-wise for the team. And so uh, the the heal card is kind of nice from time to time. The attack or the uh, the ultimate removal can be also very helpful. Uh, I think that Margaret was just not as good. I think if you're gonna use a character, you should probably go with a, a stat booster or something instead. So uh, that's pretty much it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.